Welcome to CHNN, your monthly source for collision repair news, events, and the information you need to keep your business moving ahead. In this month's edition, Liberty Mutual profits drop 70%, GM issues emergency recall, Rhode Island tiered shop system takes effect, and tips for increasing your closing ratio. So let's get started. This is CHNN. In today's collision repair environment, you need a partner who cares about meeting the needs of your customers as much as you, and one that understands the pace of your business. The training and dedication of our 24,000 employees allows Hertz to provide world-class customer service and seamless integration into your workflow while providing the daily support you need most. That is why we promise to do whatever it takes to not only keep up, but to move ahead. Hertz is ready. Are you? Liberty Mutual Insurance saw profits fall for the fourth quarter and full year 2015 due to higher catastrophe and energy-related losses. Full year net income for 2015 plunged $514 million, down 71.7% from $1.8 billion in net income in 2014. On a recent conference call with analysts, David Long, CEO, said while there is room to grow personal lines in the U.S., the company sees even greater growth potential outside the U.S. on the consumer insurance business. He said this thinking is behind the plan to blend two of its business units. On February 17, 2016, the insurer announced plans to combine its personal insurance and Liberty International Strategic business units to form a new strategic business unit named Global Consumer Markets. Claims are ever-evolving and as we look into the future we are seeing major changes to the automotive industry which could impact the volume of repairs done in the coming years. Advances in impact avoidance features and announcements regarding the creation of autonomous self-driving technologies have made stirs in the industry. In October, Tesla announced Software Update 7.0, with a second update just last month. These updates deliver a range of new active safety and convenience features designed to work in conjunction with the automated driving capabilities already offered in Model S. This combined suite of features represents the only fully integrated autopilot system involving four different feedback modules camera, radar, ultrasonics, and GPS. These mutually reinforcing systems offer real-time data feedback from the Tesla fleet, ensuring that the system is continually learning and improving upon itself. On the heels of the Tesla update, Ford and Google confirmed they are in talks for a partnership to build their own self-driving cars. The partnership would represent Google's first success in enlisting an established car maker to adopt its technology, and comes at a time when Detroit and Silicon Valley's business interests are increasingly clashing. Google recently hired a Ford veteran to head its autonomous car group, and Alan Mulally, the former CEO of Ford, joined Google's board of directors in 2014. Even more challenging is the thought of autonomous cars impacting new vehicle sales as rideshare services grow in metropolitan areas. Consumers may begin to opt for these more convenient and affordable modes of transportation rather than investing in an automobile of their own, particularly in bigger, more compact cities such as New York or Chicago, where taxis are traditionally relied upon. And while Uber also begins to work on the development of their own self-driving cars for rideshare programs, GM announced it invested $500,000 in Uber competitor, Lyft. But as the momentum for autonomous vehicles begins to grow, just a few weeks ago, Nissan announced it would disable its mobile app of the Leaf model due to a successful hack in Norway. Consumer confidence in the safety of these vehicles continue to be lacking. As NHS TSA investigations and research moves forward, we'll stay on top of this ever-developing story. The industry is getting its first look at how a two-tiered shop licensing program can work as a new Rhode Island law goes into effect. The legislation segments collision repair facilities as Class A or Class B based on equipment and training levels. It also requires that insurance companies conduct labor rate surveys to determine separate and distinct prevailing labor rates for the two classes of shops. The law stipulates that a Class A facility must, one, be certified by at least one auto manufacturer for the repair and refinishing of aluminum, high-strength steel, and other metals, must provide a written limited lifetime warranty against workmanship defects, two, maintain a system for documenting customer complaints and responses, and three, provide evidence of certification of all technicians employed at the facility. For insurers, the new law has very specific requirements for the annually required labor rates survey process, though it does allow insurers to consider factors in addition to the survey when establishing prevailing rates for each classification of shop. Gina Petrarca Kirimpetsos of the Auto Body Association of Rhode Island, which backed the new law, expects that less than 15% of the approximately 200 shops in the state will initially qualify as Class A. But she said the association is working to find ways, such as bringing in group training, to help shops more affordably meet the Class A requirements. She claims it is in everyone's best interest to get up to the level of Class A, 
Stating a shop that doesn't get itself ready in the next five to 10 years is not going to be in business. Since the launch of 90 Line 25 years ago, Glazerit has been a leader in refinish and waterborne innovation. Today, Glazerit continues to offer innovative products with the introduction of eight high hiding waterborne toners. Glazerit Color Advanced Boosters. Glazerit Color Advanced Boosters offer many benefits for collision repair facilities. Ultra high pigment concentration enables better hiding with less material consumption. Reduce 90 line base consumption by up to 50% with the Color Advanced Boosters. In some cases, these boosters completely eliminate the need for gray shade undercoats. Fewer coat applications allow for shorter process times, generating higher daily booth throughput. Finally, you can lower your material consumption, increase your profits, and decrease your process times. Please contact your BASF account representative for questions, or visit us at BASFRefinish.com. Congratulations to Ultra Products Supply Incorporated, who just celebrated their 30th anniversary. Ultra opened on March 1st, 1986 in Wayland, Michigan by owner Richard Post. Ultra's 10,000 square foot facility provides products such as car liner measuring, welding and holding products, Garmat USA paint booths and booth products, and Colmet powder coat booths and ovens. We're looking forward to your next 30 years, Richard. LKQ has tentatively acquired Pittsburgh Glassworks, a company 40% owned by PPG for $635 million. PGW is the largest supplier of OEM automotive glass for companies such as Ford, Chevrolet, Toyota, Dodge, and more, and is the second top supplier of aftermarket glass. For 2015, PGW posted a $1.07 billion revenue. With the sale, PPG will depart from participating in automotive glass as PPG President and CEO Michael McGarry said, we continue to sharpen our focus on building a growing market position in paint, coatings, and specialty materials. President and CEO of LKQ, Robert Wagman, has said in a statement that this acquisition will expand our addressable market in North America and globally, and simultaneously offers tremendous distribution synergy opportunities with our existing network. Hertz Global Holdings has announced the appointment of Robert Barton to Senior Vice President, Global Franchise Operations. Barton is responsible for the company's worldwide franchise strategy and execution for Hertz, Dollar, Thrifty, and Firefly brands. Barton previously served as Vice President Leisure Brands and Franchise Operations, RAC Americas. Prior to Hertz, he led rental and franchise operations at Franchise Services of North America, You Save Auto Rental of America, Dollar Thrifty Auto Group, Budget Rent-A-Car, and Cruise America. He is also past president of the America Car Rental Association. General Motors said it has issued a stop sales order and recalled about 1,750 new model Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon pickup trucks and Chevrolet Malibu sedans in the U.S. and Canada because of potentially defective front airbags. There have been no reported injuries related to the airbags placed in the steering wheel of the vehicles. GM did not name the supplier of the potentially faulty airbag module but said it was not made by the Takata Corporation, which is embroiled in a recall of millions of its airbag inflators. GM spokesman Tom Wilkinson said the issue is not expected to significantly affect sales of the popular midsize pickups or midsize sedan. Any delay in sales is expected to be short-lived, he said. U.S. law keeps dealers from selling a vehicle involved in a recall without fixing it first. Sometimes increasing your customer base isn't a matter of attracting new customers, but retaining the ones you do have. If you've thought about your closing ratio recently, then this next segment on value-based selling from Scott Bridges may be just what you've needed. Today I'd like to talk about growing your business through value-based selling. I lead a team of sales professionals that work towards developing win-win partnerships every day. It's all we do. To be successful in sales, you have to find a way to make your prospects successful. You have to find a way to add value to your customer's business or their life. You have to teach the other party how you can help them rather than what they can do for you. So that's all easy to say, but how do you really do it? Well, the first thing we start with is a saying. Stop selling and start helping. Helping them improve their business. Helping them improve their situation. Helping them beat their competition. And to do that, you have to learn about your customer. And to learn about them, you have to build a level of trust, a relationship, so your customer knows and believes you are there to help them and not sell them. The most important thing you can do in sales is listen. Listen to everything they say, listen to their objections, listen to their needs, and listen to their challenges. A surefire way to turn off a potential new customer is to not listen and simply start talking about how great your product or service is. This will get you nowhere, because you aren't addressing anything they need 
but rather focusing on what you need. So let's say you have a good rapport built and the trust is starting to grow. And you'll know that when they give you time to meet with them and they open up a little bit. Well, then I ask my team to really focus on answering these three questions. One, how are we adding value to their business? Two, how are we helping them meet their goals? And three, how are we helping them solve their problems? By forcing yourself to answer these questions, you are really putting yourself in their shoes. You are looking at it from your customer's perspective and trying to find ways to help them and taking the focus off of you. This is how true win-win relationships are built. Always focus on improving them and finding ways to help them or beat their competition and grow. And you can do this in many different ways. You can save them just hard dollars or you can help make them more efficient. You can improve their level of customer service, you give them a technological advantage, or fill a hole in their operation. You can do any or all of these, but by doing these things, you are helping them and you are putting yourself in a position to answer those three important questions of adding value to their business, reaching their goals, and solving their problems. As you answer those questions and begin to help your customers' businesses, you'll move through the cycle from simply a supplier to a trusted business advisor. And the further you progress in your relationship with your customer, the more transparent you are with each other. And when you reach the trusted advisor point, well now that is a bond that can't be undone by your competition. They may come in and offer a lower rate or a newer product, but as a trusted business advisor, your customer will ask you about it and give you an opportunity. And an opportunity, that's all you can really ask for. So go save the world, one customer at a time. And remember, Stop selling and start helping. Thanks, Scott. That is some great advice. For many in the collision repair industry, you don't have to look far to find a deep passion for the restoration of classic vehicles. For over 60 years, one of the most coveted trophies in restoration has been the Don Riddler Memorial, awarded each year during the Detroit Autorama. With a large number of Collision Hub members displaying vehicles and competing for the trophy, we had to make a trip to the Motor City to be there when the Riddler was crowned. As luck would have it, our own J.F. Lanier was able to get a tour of the 2016 Riddler winning build. Okay, here we are with the most talked about car of the whole show, old school. Mike, why don't you tell us where you're from? Tell us about the car after that. All right, my name is Mike Kaiser. Um, we're from Andes, Texas, with, a, with just north of Austin, Texas. Um, we brought this 1939 Oldsmobile Model 60 convertible. It is 90%, 95% uh, scratch-built body and chassis. We should probably start working from the ground up. I know that we talked a little bit about the, the chassis, but yeah. we need to get under here and have another right, look. Let's do Run it. Run me through that. All right. A lot of people don't understand is the effort that we put into making things fit. Sure. How many times a car comes apart, goes back together, so that your gaps are this beautiful, so that the fit of the car onto the chassis is something that looks seamless. Take me through a little bit of that because it looks to me like this is a hand-built chassis every last little bit of it. Yeah, we, we actually started with Art Morrison rails, um, but the only thing that, that was left is the piece of four by four on the side main rails here. Um, the cross so piece. the cross piece. The customer yeah. had already bought it, and and so piece by piece it was getting hacked away until and new stuff created until we look up and you know it's like we're looking at every part under a microscope is what it feels like. Um, and then and then we're plugging it into the car and making sure it harmonizes with the rest of the car. That's really well said. You know I've never used the word harmony, but. It, it makes all sorts of sense when you say it that way. I gotta say, you guys are raising the bar. There's no doubt about it. Some really interesting things going on with the interior. It's unique. You've offset the pod for the gauges, yeah. right? Tell me, tell me some about that. Uh, the cluster or the the bezel is based on a '57 Oldsmobile. Right. So the whole car, Grand we're trying oil. to keep Oldsmobile. Yes, right. drivetrains Oldsmobile. Uh, the cluster is, of course, one off. This car has functioning AC. We live in Texas, so it has charged, functioning air conditioning. The stereo has been tuned. I mean, we tried to make this like a Concorde car that they were going to drive and have to enjoy, you know? Well, this is not a high performance G machine. So we're trying to keep a cohesive theme through the whole car. The wheels, they're obviously one of the key features to the whole car. They've got the crest. They've got a really neat finish to them. 
Yeah. So how do you achieve that? Clay Cook came in with stainless shot and, and shot peened the wheel so it looks like a cast piece, wow. even though it's a billet piece. Wow. And then these are on a floater bearing. So they're always going to stand. So they're right? always going to stay stationary and clocked. And that's a real show of your guys' craftsmanship and your ability to improve. So the heart of this Oldsmobile is a, now a, it was a 455 Olds. We, again, we wanted to stay all Oldsmobile. 470 inch, it's the last engine, if you're an Oldsmobile guy, that Joe Mondello dynoed and signed the dyno sheet. And he's passed away since. The only original parts to this car are a piece of the deck lid, a small portion of the deck lid, a portion of this headlight bucket, and then what we're calling the Mohawk. Um, it's a beautiful piece. I can see why you wanted to keep that. And then the idea with the headlight ring was to, to flow in here. So they came back in copper. They were blocked painstakingly to get to this, this finish. Right on. There's always a gearhead that wants to know how much horsepower does it make. I it's, know it's, it's a little irrelevant. over. No, no, it's not irrelevant because <laughs> this one will get driven. <laughs> okay. um, it's, it's over. It's a little over 600 horse and like 640 foot pounds. So the That'll torque. The oh, the torque yeah. will just. Yeah, we're right there. Inside the headlights, we've got this Oldsmobile shield that again signified, the meaning of it signified everything this car is about for us. You know, precision, quality, so pushing the envelope. So it's serpentine belt system, it's coil on plug. You know, the engine has LS, yep. LS coils, all hidden, the management system from Big Stuff 3. Again, the amount of guys that we have involved in this build, they're all on the top of their game and they all wanted to work together. And it was I a like beautiful you thing. say that because you never get to this level alone. No, absolutely not. I started writing down the list of people involved in this thing and I knew it was a lot, but it, it was insane. And I kept remembering more and more people as it progressed. All right, well, that's awesome. I'm sure glad we got to walk through it with the man that made it happen. A true mobile estimating solution is here. Auto Explorer's mobile estimating can help you dramatically improve your estimating process. It is device independent and goes where you go. Whether you have an iPhone, iPad, Android tablet, or Windows Surface, you can start your estimate anywhere you have connectivity. It includes the great features of Autotex estimating, such as AutoVin and color-coded intelligent 3D graphics, allowing any appraiser to easily capture the VIN, vehicle options, photos, and vehicle damage in order to create the most accurate estimate and impress your prospective customer. Whether you're moving around your shop or working remotely, let mobile estimating from Auto Explore help you be more efficient, accurate, and ultimately get more keys. To see the full tour video of the 1939 Oldsmobile and an interview with painter Charlie Hutton, visit our YouTube channel. One thing for sure, as today's vehicles continue to advance in materials and construction, so are the tools required to make the correct and safe repairs. Check out this latest cool tool. With the increased use of advanced steels in today's vehicles, the ProSpot i5 Smart Spot Welder is designed to take the guesswork out of every repair, providing shops with lower cycle times and greater confidence in their repairs. The i5's trans gun is capable of delivering 14,500 amps with over 1,200 pounds of electrode force. The smart feature of the welder is its auto mode. Using the latest optical technology, the i5 measures the thickness and resistance of the materials to be welded and then automatically delivers the correct weld current, weld time, and squeeze pressure, regardless of metal, thickness, or corrosion protection between the layers. ProSpot's signature double-acting feature makes it easier and quicker to access areas of the vehicle. Unlike other trans guns on the market, the i5's electrodes spread wide open with the push of a button, saving the operator from having to remove their hands from their original position. This feature saves the technician time, preventing them from having to loosen and move the weld arms manually. The i5 also features a full-color swivel touchscreen, with software designed by professional programmers, engineers, and most importantly, welders. The i5's interface is intuitive and easy to use. 
Features include individual user logins, customizable and preloaded weld programs, downloadable weld data logs, and access to over 3,000 OEM repair procedure screens. ProSpot's water-cooled arms have become an industry standard, circulating coolant all the way to the tips, increasing duty cycle. They are also designed to be quickly and easily interchangeable. Along with the standard arms that come with the i5, ProSpot has additional arms including extension arms for deep reach areas and the CX adapter. A patented design by ProSpot, the CX adapter can be used in certain applications where a C-type arm cannot reach. In addition to double-sided welding, ProSpot also has an optional single-sided welding system. The i5 is pre-programmed with 60 single-sided weld programs such as dent pulling, stud welding, and more. Designed with practicality in mind, the i5 features a 16-foot cable for extra access around the shop, a sturdy wraparound handle to move the welder where you need it, and multiple storage areas for tools and accessories. ProSpot is proud to be made in the USA with our manufacturing facilities located in Carlsbad, California. Contact your local distributor today or check us out online at ProSpot.com. Running your business requires strong partnerships, companies that are committed to your success and growth. This month, we take the time to highlight one of those companies in our industry. I think it all starts with our ability to motivate and make our people feel good about what it is they're doing every day, and then supply them with the right products. I'm really excited about the differences that we have against our competition in a lot of our key strategic elements. From a color perspective, I think it's fair to say that we own this part of the market. We are one global team that just happens to reside in seven different countries. Our customers benefit from this global team by having access to over two million formulas in our database. All of our customers use the same paint manager software, rapid match spectrophotometer technology, and get access to various tools, formulas, and benefits. We match over 40,000 colors a year, and we have over 100,000 color chips around the world that we update with our yearly colors that the manufacturers are putting up. Lab automation processes eliminate variation in mixing, dispensing, weighing, applying the paint, baking the paint, and even reading the spectrophotometer readings on each of the panels. All of this eliminates variation and allows us to have accurate color matches anywhere in the world. Automotive refinish within PPG encompasses two, two market areas, collision, but also the commercial side. Commercial coatings uh, encompasses all the products that refinish sell that do not go on a car. So if it doesn't go on a car and it has wheels, truck, bus, trailer, anything that's painted in one place and moved to another that needs a, a quality finish that's durable for a uh, outdoor environment is what we sell. Well, as you can imagine, technology has improved markedly since PPG entered the industry and we benefit from the fact that our strategy is working. We're winning. Our water-based products are making a difference. They are improving the performance of PPG's business, our distributor's business, and most importantly, the shop's profitability. There's always changes in technology and, and, and we're certainly uh, doing the research for that change in low VOC technologies and high solids. Right now, as I characterize it, a once in a lifetime opportunity in terms of the differentiation we have with our products in the water baseline. And I think what you're gonna see from us is that we're gonna continue to develop those products. Think about our internal customer service network. I think the number one thing that characterizes what we're good at here is the commitment. Just to give you a sense for how big it is, uh, the color library takes over 85,000 calls a year. Uh, the tech support line takes close to 30,000 calls a year. I mean, those are significant numbers of calls in conjunction with all the other support that we offer either in the field or online or even through our distributors. So I would tell you it's the commitment of those people, which is why people continue to call them. Thank you.
Oh boy. I believe PPG's big advantage in the market is our service to the end user. And that's through two main profiles. One is with our people, a uh, very well-trained sales force throughout the United States. We have NACE certified people, we have corrosion experts, uh, we have business experts. A lot of tenure in that group uh, goes through continuous training. And then our distributor network. Uh, we have 1,200 different businesses with about 1,800 different locations throughout the United States. When you take the commitment that these businesses have uh, to PPG and its end-use customers, combined with the training and the excellent products, it really makes for a strong combination in the marketplace. I think training from uh, our sales folks to our business development people uh, all the way out through the supply chain, through the distribution channel into the collision shops is, is critical to our success going forward. One of the things that sets PPG apart is the performance of our business solutions group. The business solutions group provides advantages for our customers in training on lean for collision, we have 13 MVP business fundamentals classes. We have our biannual MVP conferences. We do factory layout and design services. We do performance benchmarking, comprehensive marketing programs, and even offer on-site consulting services. In our value added, we're offering services, which is truck estimating through Adjust Right. We offer the industry uh, 20 groups and have had some success with helping customers help each other. And we're also introducing now with our business solution group uh, training in for truck shops, which improves operations. Along with the technology, along with how we educate our people, we are the consultants to them now, not just paint salesmen. And I think that changes over a period of time, and we're along with it. Our differentiation is based around our people, our products, our color, and our distribution. And we're going to continue to execute the strategy that we have, and we're going to do it even better. I think we're the paint company that people want to do business with. Uh, we are very supportive of our customers. I would tell you that we're very loyal. I would like to say the only thing that lasts longer than our coding is our commitment to you. 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 And that's all for this episode of CHNN. We hope you'll make CHNN your new home for the collision repair news and information you need. Want more in-depth coverage of the stories you heard today? Please visit Repair Driven News, your daily source for information and editorial features for collision repair. And make sure you don't miss a single episode in 2016 by subscribing to our YouTube channel below. We'll see you next month. This program is brought to you through the support of these sponsors. This is CHNM.